Hey, so before we uh, we start with questions, I just I wrote something because I wanted to say I didn't want to forget it uh, for you guys. Uh, first, I, w I would like to thank you for all your understanding and kind words at a difficult time for our organization, our players, our coaches. Uh, everyone in our clubhouse is thinking of Bud. I know you are too. His wife and their children. And you know this tragedy reminds us what's more important in life. You know. As a father and a husband myself, my heart breaks for Bud, of course, and his family. And they're in our thoughts, thoughts and prayers. So again, thank you for your understanding. And okay, and we can talk about baseball now. Right. So please think of Bud and his family during this time. All right, go ahead and raise your hands. Rod will get you the mic. Thank you, Charlie. Um, we did see the, the emotion from some of your players before the game there, too. What have you seen from them in terms of how they've handled this and supported one another or, or Mark? It's, it's the man. That man, it's, it's, you know, that there's good men and great men. He's a great man. So, you know, I mean, everybody would ache for anybody, but he, he's, he's a special kind of person, you know. His family's great. And the only thing I could share about what happened even before he left, he wrote a note for me to read to the team going through that tragedy. So that tells you everything about Mark Batinsky and family. Um, going forward, um, while Mark's away from the team, will we see um, Hurtado at first base and will any other roles change for you and your staff? So yeah, we're working on that right now to see what, who's, who's going to be coaching first. Obviously, these days are, are difficult. How, how tough was it for you and the team to manage those different emotions that you had today, knowing it was a big game, but obviously feeling like your mind was elsewhere? Yeah, I mean, for, for sure. it was a long day, of course, yesterday, and I just couldn't manage anymore. I, I wanted to be with Bud, you know, and, and Ross Atkins were with him until we got on a, a flight to, to go home. And it was, it's difficult for everybody, you know? That's just not easy, nobody expects that. That's why family is so important, you know? And sometimes people forget in our jobs that we don't get to see our families a lot, you know? So uh, it was a tough day, uh, but the group support and the players and everything, the, the beautiful messages that they sent to Bud, they were, they were awesome. Just yesterday, obviously, we saw you left the game. Um, why was it important for you to be with Bud rather than managing that game? Because what I just said, you know, I, I, you know, I, I know you guys, it's not about me, but I always got the pictures of my son and stuff because I know life could always be worse, you know, and that kiss me like this. So I knew them, that moment that happened, my heart's with Bud. You know, the game, we got enough coaches that can do their, jo their job, you know, so that's why my, my, my job was to be with Mark. Charlie, on the field this week, uh, coming off of eight in, in seven days, a long stretch there, what did you see from your team, first of all, that you liked this week in the AL? So uh, remember coming in, we said we're playing Boston in, in the race, right? Top, top schedule, and we went four and four. Uh, it, also, it goes back to what I always talk about, pitching. Uh, the moment Gospel goes down, now you got to use the whole bullpen. You know, now you got Lawrence trying to stretch out and give, you, give us a chance. He kind of did. Then Hatch struggle, and and of course Shreb kind of struggled a little bit today more than than usually, and we faced three best starters, so you know that's how it goes. It's, it's about pitching, man. It doesn't matter how much, it's so much you can hit, and that's why they, they probably took the last three because they had the, their good pitchers going, and but again the the home stand we were four and four, you know against two tough teams. And teams of this quality, of course, tend to expose things or, or point to weaknesses. Do you see that pitching improving internally with those guys bouncing back? How do you feel about that? Our guys? Yeah, I mean, you know, I, as you guys know, because it was a tough three games and so many games in a row with no days off and playing five games like this, everybody's pitched a lot. You know, like Gage deserves a lot of credit. Three innings in, in two days and keeps getting people out. That's not easy. Like, I, was, I felt bad for him. Like, I have to pitch him, you know, but we're still in the game there at the end. And then Phelps, same way. Like, everybody's pitched a lot. But we got to regroup. And that's fine. That's baseball. And that's the schedule we have. And, and we're going to regroup. And we're going to be okay. 
Charlie, just one more for me because you mentioned him. How is Kevin Gosman feeling today? How's his foot doing? And is it still up in the air whether he can make his next start? Yeah, I mean, I don't want to say he's going to make the start, but he's doing better for sure. Yeah, so there's a chance that he could make the start. Was there any thought about not playing today? It came up. It came up. Yeah. But, I mean, that's not, just not that easy to do. MLB, you got to talk to MLB. There's a lot of stuff that's got to go. You know, it's not that easy to do, but it came up at one time. And just in general terms, after this week and after this long run, is it good for the team to get out of here and go to the other side of the country and, and I mean, wake I up? I wouldn't call it a West Coast trip after all this easy, but that, no excuses. I just like say that we have, and we're going to work through it and, and take it one game at a time. Thanks, everyone. All right, guys. Thank you.